you don't wanna go one by one through all of these leads updating information. So I'm gonna show you how to do bulk actions today in Deal Machine to save you time. First off, you can do bulk actions in both mobile and on web. So right now we're gonna start off in the leads view on web right now. So I am on web and a couple of scenarios of where you might wanna be bulk editing. You might want to select all of these to start sending mail to. Maybe you want to change the status of them. So before we get into filtering and doing all that stuff, I'm gonna show you just the meat and potatoes of how to bulk edit. So this button right here is going to select all on this first page. So it's gonna say 25 leads selected, or you can select all. Now, say you don't want all of these in here. Say you want to approve certain properties. So say I wanna go and just do a couple here or there. Now, what you're probably wondering is, Elise, if I go to the next page, is it gonna forget these? No. So if I go to page two, it's still gonna say five leads selected and say I wanna just grab these guys. So now we can go over to see what our bulk actions will be. So this is start mail. So say you have a specific mailer to go out to just corporate owned properties or maybe just ones with tall grass. Again, we will go through filters in another video that you can check through after this, but right here is doing the bulk actions. So then you can start mail and it's gonna ask you which campaign. So my spring campaign, the first mailer says, are you tired of wanting to mow this grass? So usually I send that to tall grass owners. So I would add that and start my mail. Another bulk action that you can take is right here in the lead actions. You can skip trace these leads right here and there. You can assign the lead owner, which what that means is someone who is taking responsibility of following up with that lead or who has now been tossed the baton to actually disposition that lead. So you can assign lead owner here. So here are your deal statuses. These are very crucial too to see what part of the pipeline these deals are in. So say I'm doing a bulk edit and saying, hey, all of these we've gone under contract or we've already had an appointment with them and we need to follow up. So then I could select this, confirm, and then all of those leads would be updated. Now again, let's go back here and see the other things we can do in bulk, creating a list of those. You want to narrow down your driving for dollars list even more. So you want it to maybe say an, a list of properties that are just sold in the last three years, just owner occupied. You can then create a list of those selected leads and type in the actual list name so that way you can keep track of those individual niche lists along the way. And this goes into our list stacking capabilities, which again, we will go into further that you can check out in the card above or at the end of this video. All right, other ones we can do. I know you're like, there's more? So you can remove these from a certain list. Again, if you wanted to take them off of a list, you can just select this, it'll take them off and you, it'll prompt you to ask which list you would like to take them off. Then you can add tags and remove tags. Tags are really helpful, especially if maybe these all do have tall grass and no one tagged them as that. So I can go in here and add tag and I can put, hey, these all have tall grass right here. So that way I can keep track and have those in my log so that when the person calls, or again, if I'm filtering by tall grass and knowing I wanna start my mail campaign, so on and so forth. Now again, if I wanted to remove tags, I could do that as well. Now, pausing a mail sequence, is exactly what it sounds like. You're gonna put a pause on that mail campaign that you have going out to the specific leads that you have selected. You can end a mail sequence altogether, which means that it is done, kaput nud. You'll have to start a whole brand new one. You can export these leads, which we have another video on that that you can check out again in the card above. But this is when maybe you want to take these leads out, put them into another space. If you wanna automate that, we also have another video coming out about Zapier and how that is going to be able to automate it. But you can export and import those lists into another CRM that you're using or a dialer. And then there's the end one of permanently deleting the leads. This is not moving it to the trash, that's actually a deal status. Quick lesson on what's the difference between the trash status and the permanently delete status. It's exactly what it sounds like. Permanently delete means like it never existed, 
in your Deal Machine account. In the trash means that it's still there, it will not be added again because it's still in your account, but you're just done with it. It's a dead lead. Permanently delete again takes it all the way off. So you can have someone or yourself add it again possibly if it is deleted from your account. All right, let's move on over to mobile. So that way you can see how you can do this on the go. Maybe you just finished a drive and you don't wanna wait to have to go to your computer to take some of these off that you know just aren't good leads. So go into my app, go into leads, and then I'm going to select. Now here I can select all leads again right here, or I can go through and just individually select certain leads. So you're gonna go into lead actions and you're gonna see every single option that we just went through on web. So here it says select an action for your five selected leads. So it will show you how many you're going to be changing. And again, this has everything that we just went through on web. So if you need a better explanation of some of these, highly recommend just going back a little bit so that way you can look at them. We do have them timestamped so you can easily access that information. So right now I'm just gonna say uh, export the leads. So I'm gonna click that. Um, yes, that's the email I would like it to go to. And then I would like to include all lead properties in this export. Uh, submit export. And my exported leads will be sent to my email. Done, bulk action, capiche, right there on mobile. Before you start doing a ton of bulk actions, I do wanna help you save even more time by looking at this video here so that way you learn more about how to filter leads down to what you exactly want so you can take those bulk actions on them. Please go ahead and like this video and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on all Deal Machine tutorials and REI tips. And as always, happy deal finding.